I'm Brian Halstead. And I'm Paul Raspino. And we're with PPE Paraclete. This video that you're about to watch is going to demonstrate the correct sizing procedures for a concealable vest. We're going to demonstrate how to get the correct measurements so that you'll get a vest that fits you properly. Now before we start demonstrating the correct measurement procedures for concealable body armor, it's important to call out that when you show up to be measured for your body armor, that you wear the uniform or something similar to the uniform that you're actually going to be wearing when you're wearing the body armor. If you wear a duty belt, then make sure you bring a duty belt when you're uh, showing up to be measured. When measuring an individual for concealable body armor, there are three measurements that you're going to take while the individual is standing up. The first two measurements, the individual will be facing you. You're going to take a chest measurement and a waist measurement or around the widest section of the individual's torso. So the chest measurement, you have the individual put, extend their arms out. And once you have the tape in place across the widest portion of their chest, ha have them put their arms down because the measurement will actually change when their arms are extended out and then when they put their arms down, their chest is going to expand back out and, uh, and it'll be a little bit of a larger measurement than when their arms were up. If you'll turn to the side here just a little bit, when you're looking at this chest measurement, don't feel like you have to have this tape measure really snug. Um, leave a little bit of a gap in there. So I think the ideal measurement in this case would be 45 for the chest. Don't let go of the ends of the tape measure. Just simply slide it back down um, to around the widest portion of their torso. Now I know that folks are tempted to focus on what this measurement is in comparison to their actual waist measurement for their trousers. That's not what we're concerned with when we're dealing with body armor. We are focusing on covering your entire torso with ballistic material. So we want to focus on the widest portion of your torso. And again, uh, don't feel like it has to be completely snug because you want to have room for overlap of the ballistic panels on the side. So leave a little bit of a gap. In this case, I would go with a measurement of 43. All right, and then the last measurement that we're going to take while the individual is standing up is actually the measurement of his back. So if you could turn around, please. And on the back, we're looking at an imaginary line across the top of the shoulder blades, right at the, uh, just below the base of the collar. So you pick that mark and you measure down to approximately one inch above the individual's duty belt. Uh, if they don't have a duty belt on, like in this case, uh, it's typically right at the point of where their, uh, their actual garrison belt is. And sometimes you can even have them you know, give you a point of reference where your duty belt actually rides. If you'd show me a point of reference where your duty belt rides. So in this case, I would go with a 15-inch a back panel. All right, if you go ahead and have a seat, please. The final measurement for a concealable vest is going to be a seated measurement. And this was, is particularly important because the length of that ballistic panel in the front is critical when you are sitting down. If you end up with a panel that's too long, when you sit down, it's going to hit your duty belt and it's going to rise up and hit you in the throat and it's going to be very uncomfortable to wear. So when we measure the front panel, we're going to have a starting point up top here of approximately one inch below the, the uh, sternal notch. And you're going to measure straight down to approximately one inch above the duty belt or um, right in the vicinity of the individual's belly button. So in this case, uh, a front panel length of 13 would be appropriate. Now that we've demonstrated the correct procedures for obtaining the measurements for your concealable body armor, what we'd like to do is show you a few examples of what incorrect fitting body armor looks like and we're going to start out with a vest that's too long and then we're going to show you a vest that's too short and then lastly we're going to show you what a correct fitting vest will look like and we're also going to focus on the correct overlap on the side. Okay this vest that the individual is wearing does not at first glance look to be excessively long However, um, you do see the gap here. What I'd like to demonstrate is what happens when this individual sits down because that's the key factor when you're, uh, when you're wearing a uh, concealable vest. 
Now, if this individual had a duty belt on, you see that the gap that was there just a moment ago has completely gone away. If he was wearing a duty belt, that vest would be sitting on top of the duty belt and driving up into his throat, and it would be very, very uncomfortable to wear. I don't think we need to spend a whole lot of time calling out what's wrong with the fit of this vest. Obviously, this panel is way too short and does not provide sufficient ballistic coverage of this individual's torso. One other thing I'd like to call out about the fit of this particular vest is the insufficient overlap on the side. You can see the gap here. Ideally, you want to have at least one inch of overlap where the ballistic panels actually overlap. And it's important to note, and I'll show this on a vest that fits a little bit better and has more coverage, that whenever there is an overlap that the front panel goes over the back panel. And lastly, we have a concealable vest that is the correct size for the individual. And if you note, there is still a gap between the bottom of the vest and the duty belt. But when this officer sits down, go ahead and sit down. You'll see that that gap does close and if he, was ha if he was wearing a duty belt, um, the bottom of this vest would be right at the duty belt and would not be causing the vest to come up and ride uh, into his throat and causing it to be uncomfortable. So this is the exact fit and the exact length that we're looking for. We showed you the, the improper overlap on the side. I'd like to show you now the proper overlap. You want to have at least an inch of ballistic material overlapping on the sides, making sure that the front panel overlaps the back panel. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen officers show up to get the, the fit of their vest checked and they have that backwards where the back panel is actually over the front panel. And the reason that you want the front over the back is because ideally you're going to be facing your threat. And if you had them reversed and in the unfortunate event that you were to take a round, you wouldn't want a round being able to sneak in between the two panels. So if they're overlapped, the front over the back, that can't happen. Because we are dealing with a concealable vest platform that is also going to be worn externally in a tactical outer carrier, we wanted to show the example between the two. And all the measurements that we've shown you how to do and the examples that we've shown you as far as the fit of the vest goes, we've done using a concealable vest because this is a concealable vest platform. But understand, when you take these panels and put them into this outer carrier, you may have a situation where the, the length does come down over your belt when you sit down because it's being worn in an exterior fashion. Now all of the measurements that we've demonstrated for you today for sizing a concealable vest, we've used a, a male individual. The same method is used when measuring a female officer and we do have a, uh, a few slides here that show the correct fitting vest on a female officer. The same concerns for the length of the front panel apply, uh, the same concerns for overlap, and you do the, the measurements in exactly the same way. Thank you for taking time to watch this video on the correct sizing procedures for concealable body armor. We here at PPE Paraclete appreciate your time and feel free to contact us if you have any questions about the fit of your armor or the correct sizing procedures. Thank you.